Okay guys, so there's one other way to handle conditionals as mentioned before and that is the when statement. So first of all I'm gonna get rid of the code we wrote in the last lecture. And now let's say we have a val mode which is just an int again and basically enables us to switch between different modes of some kind. So depending on the mode we're in we want to run different code. Now we can do this pretty well by using when statements. We can create a when statement by typing when and then in parentheses we define the variable we want to check for different values basically. And again the body goes into curly brackets. You should be noticing that the curly brackets are always used when we have basically a separate scope for our code. So when we define if statements we have a separate scope for a code that is run only inside this if statement. If we define a function for example this main function we have the code that belongs to the function inside curly brackets. So if you're not sure which brackets to use in these cases curly brackets are probably the way to go. Now inside here we first have to define the values we want to check for. So in this case let's say we have modes which are represented by the integers 1, 2 and 3. So in this case we would type 1 and then this kind of arrow by using a dash and a greater than sign. And now we can specify the code that is supposed to run if our mode value is 1. So for example if we just want to run a one-liner we can just type this here. So for example let's say the mode is lazy. And then the next line we can do the same thing again. So we can check if mode is 2. And if we want to write more than one line of code we can open up curly brackets again and then just type any kind of code we want to run. So let's say print line the mode is 2 and now we can do another statement in here like so the mode is busy. And now we said we have one last mode which is 3 and we can do the same thing again. So let's say this mode is super productive. Alright so that's it. So um, notice that we don't have to specify greater than or less than or anything. We just check for the value of our variable mode. And so we just type the values on the left hand side here. So let's go ahead and try to run this. And in this case we set mode to 2. So what it's going to do is it's going to jump into this block right here. And as you can see it's going to print the mode is 2. So the mode is busy. And similarly if I set the mode to 3 and run this again it's going to jump into this one and print the mode is super productive. And that's already the basic structure of when statements. There's one last thing I want to mention and that is um, let's say we have a mode set to 5 which is not a valid mode for us. In this case the code would basically do nothing at all because none of these is true. So what we can do is we can actually go right here and specify else and this is going to um, catch all other cases. So we can say uh, I don't know that mode. Alright so mode is set to 5 and that's not covered by us so we're gonna say I don't know that mode. Now notice that this is equivalent to a block of if and else if statements. So you could also use if conditionals for this and in the next lecture we're gonna talk about when to use if conditionals and when to use when conditionals.